I'm sure you're all exhausted. We've had a really good event, I think. I'm really pleased with how it's gone. I think we've had brilliant discussions. Just a few minutes to, to recap some of the things we've talked about. We've talked about religion and women's rights, religion and the law, religion and secularism. And I think one of the things we've come to consensus about is the fact that religion as a private matter uh, has no problems with many of these. You can have people who are religious, who um, are pro-women's rights, who are pro-secularism, and who are pro-equality before the law. But I think one of the things that we've come to discuss and, and realize very fully, and I think even without these discussions, by just looking at the world around us, is that religion is not a private matter, unfortunately. And particularly given the fact that Islamism is in power, and while all religions are the same, Islamism is different because it is the religion in power today, and Sharia law is the law that's being implemented in many countries worldwide, including in Britain, that it is crucial that we keep this fight for secularism and for women's rights. It's obviously not racist. This is some of the things we've talked about. It's not racist to say that people are equal. It's not racist to say that people, irrespective of where they were born, or what background they come from, deserve to live a 21st century life. Um, I know uh, someone in the audience uh, talked about us needing to be more media savvy. I think um, we're faced with a great wall of opposition and censorship, whether it be from the government that refuses to respond to our letters, whether it be uh, from the media. I mean, uh, Women's Hour contacted us initially to cover this event. But I've got very used to the media contacting us to cover an event and never following through with it. And for every interview that I've done, or that Anne-Marie's done, or any of our activists have done, there are at least 20 that never went ahead. And it's not just the media, it's uh, um, oftentimes you go and speak somewhere, and uh, you hear the university didn't want to give us the hall because we're speaking against Sharia law. But every day Islamists go, into these universities and speak misogyny and inhumanity and they have red carpets rolled up in front of them. So I think we have to remember that it's a difficult fight. We're fighting against powers that be from Islamism but also the appeasement of governments and the censorship of the media very often. But what we have that they can't stop is that we are, I strongly believe, we are the majority. We are the majority. But what we need to do is make ourselves vocal. We need to be seen. We need to be visible. And we have to stop being afraid. Um, I think the final thing I want to say is that we, we, today we, we make a pledge, as we have every day before us, and as we're going to continue to, to do, that we won't allow religion in the law, we won't allow it in the educational system, we won't allow it in the state. And like the people before us who fought and died for secularism, hopefully none of us will die, but we must fight, for, and fight aggressively for it. Uh, I was at a conference recently in Italy where one of the uh, speakers said, if not now, when? And if I don't speak for myself, who will? If we don't speak for ourselves, who will? Thank you very much.